Welcome back, True Believers and Spectacular Spy fans, as well as all of you Ratchet and Clank fans out there, to a really interesting new series that I have been planning on doing for a while now, but I haven't been able to get around to it. But now, I think since recently it was the very first Ratchet and Clank's 15th anniversary, I thought it'd be really cool if I just went and replayed the recent Ratchet and Clank game on the PS4 that I do happen to own on my PlayStation 4. And of course, since Insomniac Games are the ones who are making Spider-Man PS4, I thought it'd be kind of cool that I, if I, you know, were to go back and share my love for Ratchet and Clank, because I really do love the Ratchet and Clank series. Up Your Arsenal is my favorite Ratchet and Clank game, but this one was crazy cool when I did play it the first time. And here's a funny story. You guys can skip ahead if you want to. But when this game was announced... I was planning on getting it, but I was really occupied at the time, and I wanted to save up my money for another game that was coming out back then in 2016. But when E3 2016 happened, and then I saw that it was Insomniac Games that was making Spider-Man PS4 and not Sucker Punch, I immediately bought this game just to see how great this game was and just how I was back in Nostalgiaville pretty much just playing Ratchet and Clank again and just bring back tons of awesome memories. And this game was really great. And it's funny because it, it technically is a movie tie-in game, but the movie was based off of the game series. So it's it's really funny that they did that. But yeah, because in this game you see some of the, the shots from the Ratchet & Clank movie that came out in 2016. But yeah, I really like this game. Um, hopefully you guys like it too. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into it and uh, play Ratchet & Clank on the PS4. And I will be uh, silent during the uh, cutscenes if you guys haven't played this. Which surprised me, because some of you guys have either not played this game, or you own it, but you haven't beaten it yet, which I find pretty interesting. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'll talk about maybe, like, some things on how I see what Insomniac Games did in this game, and how I think they can implement it into Spider-Man PS4. But ba bam Insomniac Games with their old-school logo. So great. And, oh, just look at that. Look at that logo of Ratchet & Clank. The skyline of the galaxy just looks gorgeous. And, uh, yeah, you know, and, of course, I already, you know, started a new game just to test it out and see if it works properly on my Elgato and everything. But, yeah, we're just gonna jump right into a new game, new story on hard mode, and, uh, yeah, it's gonna be really fun, and I am just a huge Ratchet & Clank fan. Just being able to play this for you guys it brings me tons of joy, and if you guys like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you do like it, and, yeah, let's just, uh, get into Ratchet & Clank PS4, guys. I'm excited. Velden looks gorgeous, of course. This game, overall, is just beautiful, with its graphics. Open up on seven! Move it out, Shiv! Oh, I'll get you. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117, Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your bolts rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. The iron holds in your balance. <laughs> mm. Greetings, new fish. I'm... Captain Quark. I... I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet & Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. 
It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. Think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Fine, Grim. Whew. Does that ship look mag lifted to you? Get on that bolt crank. Come on. You know what? Asking please would help out too. But just, just appreciate this for a second, guys. Like again, when this game came out in 2016, uh, I didn't have a PS4 that had any like, you know, it's not a kids game, but it's like really like animated. Like you know what I mean? Like really cartoony, really awesome looking in terms of the animation style that this has. Because I had um, Arkham Knight, of course, Batman Arkham Knight, and also Assassin's Creed Unity, but I never had a game like this. And I was planning on getting it when it was announced, um, and then I just decided to hold off. But then, like I said uh, earlier in the video, when it was shown off at E3 2016 that Insomniac was making Spider-Man PS4, I'm like, okay, I have to buy this game immediately. And the first thing I noticed when this scene, just in this garage, just a garage, we're not even outside yet, but just this garage, it looks on, stunning. And, uh, yeah, Grim's obviously telling me to shut my mouth, so, yeah, we'll go do that. Look at this thing. Avionics fried. CPU fried. Even the gosh darn gravity coils fried. Oh, you really did a number this time, kid. Come on, not my fault. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. Do you see something flashing? I see something evil and red. I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's a light. Left side looks good. It's a miracle. Onto the afterburner lights. Look down. You see something? Maybe. Oh, left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Let's go, boys! Oh, man. behind friendly people beautiful desert all the barbecued sand toads you could ever eat <laughs> some people don't appreciate what they have i suppose sure words What's could never have been spoken grim a galactic ranger anyway bunch of action junkies looking to prove themselves by hurling their bodies in front of incoming bullets Tch, sounds like fool's work to me well, you're in here working on ships, Grim. If you want to take up a noble cause, why don't you clean up that loft of yours? 
place is a fire trap. What with all the dissembled engine parts you got up there? Yeah, well, that's my business, Grim. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> I was quiet for so long because there was so much dialogue, and I just want you guys to uh, hear all of it. But yeah, just... Uh, this game, again... Some of you guys say that the PS3 version uh, graphics look better than this version? No way. I think this is the most graphically, you know, amazing-looking Ratchet and Clank game ever. But it's it's definitely not my favorite. It, I, it might be in my top five, but Up Your Arsenal is definitely my... Uh, first favorite i hopefully i can try and play that but yeah like i said uh, if this series does do well um then hopefully i can do more parts for you guys and that'd be really fun and yeah I'm, I'm already just having tons of nostalgia just playing this first part and just going on you know velden just already yes such an amazing technique that all warriors can learn like quark of course. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. <laughs> I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like three out of five gunshot wounds. Dang. It's pretty hardcore, dude. Super awesome regardless. Spade a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story here? Uh, you. Sorry, sir. Of course, Quark will be the one narrating our journey. Vanquished. Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Destiny. Nice. Good job, Quark. Did you write movie scripts with that amazing dialogue and narration? It's incredible. Whew! Again, like... A lot of people just run right through these areas. Look at the textures of all these little tiny details that they put in with the surroundings and the environment and all the, you know, like, machinery that's around here. I just love every single bit of tiny detail that Insomniac put in this game, and it's fantastic. And it's still technically, when you do think about it, it is technically a movie tying game. All right, m uh, Metal Quark. More than you can, that's for sure. Look at this guy. Ombre? Si, senor. Of course, I shall never try and speak Spanish again. I'm not that good at it, guys. Thank you, Metal Quark. Means a lot. Coming from you, of course. Cora Baralux here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. If you insist. I mean, you are talking to a Lombax, you know that, right? Good work. Now keep moving to the next part of the course. The most agile of all these intergalactic species. Maybe. A good ranger is always mindful of their surroundings. Hop across these moving platforms. You got it. Especially if we know how they have turbo jets and everything like that. That's just fantastic. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. You got it. Again, just these, like, the small little alien species that are there, the skyline, all those ships and creatures flying around. Like, if you saw in the garage, there were, like, like you know, flying creatures outside of the garage. I just think that the way that Insom Insomniac Games handled this game's art style is fantastic, and I just love every second of it. Hey there, recruit. I'm Brax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can bash these crates. You got it. I don't need my fist, just my giant wrench. Hey, that was pretty good. Keep moving, it's time to get our hands on some firepower. Oh, Try snap. A fusion grenade glove from this Gadgetron vendor. You bet. Now, before I even keep going, I just want to bring up that uh, fellow Spice Squad member, Legit MHX. This is, uh, like, his favorite game series, or, like, one of his favorite video game series of all time, and he just loves it to death. All right, Brax, or automated... Gadgetron vendor, which, yes, the one gripe that a lot of people say about this game, and I kind of agree with, is that the weapons, the weapons from what we've had in, like, all the past Ratchet and Clank games, they weren't as crazy as they were. They're still really good and very helpful and obviously super fun to use, but they weren't as, you know, memorable as, like, what Upper Arsenal or Going Commando had, for example. Oh, I just might make my quarter this week. You bet. 
It's not a... That shady guy, right? I uh, Slim Cognito. I always forget his name. It's not Slim Cognito, is it? Maybe it is. He's back. Woo! Bombs! Everyone's best friend. As evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. Yes. Crates are more helpful than you guys realize in this game. Give you money and ammo. Both are very helpful. Getting very big, uh, deadlock vibes here with no clank yet. Whoa, a hollow card. Sweet. Epic. Nice. Those come in very handy when you do have them. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do think that they allow you to upgrade your weapons. I think so. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of, uh, something else. But still, the way that they have collectibles in this game to, like, here, let me, let's look for a second. Card collection. Ba bam Al here. You've just collected your first holo card. I forgot about Big Al. Oh, he's one of my favorite characters. You can earn single holo cards by defeating enemies. Yes. Or you can explore secret areas to find packs of three. Ooh. Your goal is to complete a whole set of holo cards. Of course. Nice. Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you get them, you get something, like Omni Wrench. And then when you unlock all of them, I believe that you uh, get a bigger upgrade or something. I forget, but they, they are helpful when you collect them, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, just again, what we have here, what we can get hopefully in Spider-Man PS4, because this was um, Insomniac's very first PlayStation 4 game. When you think about it, that's why they're so you know, used to how the system works, because they made this game on the PS4, and when we hear we have an extras menu that holds image galleries, appearance settings, and cheats. Cheats are always super, super involved in all the Ratchet & Clank games, where you can get, like, unlimited ammo or invincibility, or you can look different, and appearance settings, definitely, when you get the golden bolts, you can, like, get skins, pretty much. Like, I don't want to spoil it if you guys haven't played this game, but later on, you can change how ratchet looks and he can look either like really silly or really cool looking um not as cool as how he can look in the uh you know ps2 games um and of course image galleries that's like concept art which is really cool um and yeah that's what i'm hoping that we can get with spider-man ps4 is just stuff like that like maybe alternate skins uh that we can get through like collecting stuff in the city when free roaming because they already confirmed that we're gonna have alternate skins in spider-man ps4 so hopefully we can get something that's interactive um, card collection, that's just used for, like, you know, I guess different types of a collectible. Um, map, of course, just seeing what the map would look like. So, in terms of, uh, you know, Sunset Overdrive and Spider-Man PS4, the open world map is gonna be huge. Which is gonna be awesome to just go back and look at everything. And weapons, because Ratchet loves using weapons. And gadgets, so gadgets is something that Spider-Man's gonna have in Spider-Man PS4. So, hopefully we can get something like this where we can see the list of our gadgets that we are going to collect throughout the game with the uh, tripwire webbing, impact webbing, and hopefully spider tracers or something like that. So I'm just really excited for it. And um, select is just a map. So yeah, again, take all this into consideration with how they could do something like this in Spider-Man PS4, and I'm very much assuming that they will. We've armed these dummies with gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool with this. Absolutely. Burning people to death is always a must for any gauntlet type of thing. can do this let's go ratchet look at that look at that do you see what i'm looking at right now just this entrance right here this super thor ragnarok looking entrance with this gladiator tormented but just like the lights in the background the fireworks going off the spaceships flying around the lighting of everything ratchet himself the background still too like the background of that area that we can't even explore there's still all those small details in the back i know there's things popping in there with the ships but still i think it looks great and I just know Insomniac is going to totally deliver with Spider-Man. Hey! Intern would be nice as well. Not as good as a job, but still helpful. Ooh! That's another thing. When you defeat enemies consistently, you get, like, upgrades in the cards. Like... That way you can get, like, an incentive for defeating enemies. 
Um, because things that I, uh, ooh, see, and you can also level up with experience, which you upgrade your health, which is very nice, so. Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Maybe. Hopefully I don't just die from getting burned to death from these guys. Nice. I'm pretty sure I, I started this game's difficulty on hard. I hope I did. Um, but yeah, this game on hard difficulty isn't that difficult, but uh, it is a challenge. Uh, especially during, like, I would say, one particular boss, uh, which I won't spoil. It's not the final boss, but it's like, it's, it's close to the end of the game. And it is very challenging, but yeah, the, the games overall from the PS2 are much more difficult. This is average, but again, I'm glad that they give you an option of a difficulty, and I really hope that they do that as well in Spider-Man PS4. And what we saw, Ratchet, when he levels up, by defeating enemies, his health increases. And what we saw with Spider-Man PS4, he has like 100% health on the health bar, so hopefully, like they said in the live stream, Insomnia confirmed that you will have some sort of an upgrade system in the game, but I hope that maybe like we can upgrade his health or maybe his suit to have him take less damage from enemies or something. Or maybe his gadgets can do more damage or something. I just hope that there's a lot of like variety in terms of how you want to upgrade your character, like your Spider-Man and just how you can upgrade Spider-Man in general. Um, and I just hope that there's a lot of differentiation and variety. And I really know for a fact that given what they did in this game, I know absolutely that they're going to deliver on that same type of experience, which is, which is just great, obviously. Cutscene time, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the savior of Solana, Captain Quark. Hello, Veldin. Hello, Captain. He's on fire again. I know. My name is Copernicus Quark, and yes, that was an impressive wall of fire I just walked past. I'm going to be real with you folks for a moment. When President Vironix recommended I take on a new ranger, I knew just where to go. That's right. We want you! Yeah! I know what you're thinking. Do I have what it takes? After all, you may not have prevented Dr. Nefarious from atomizing Illyro City. You may not have stopped Neptun Prague from rendering the entire population of Aridia colorblind. Twice. After all, you may not have this chiseled jaw or godlike pectoral region, but if you have heart, then you have what it takes. You don't have what it takes. But I have heart. Yes, but unfortunately that heart is encased in a weak, muscleless mass of inexperience. Plus there's your history to consider. Got a long line of citations here. Possession of an illegal gravity repulsor? Operation of a black market accelerator? Willful disruption of the space-time continuum? That is a funny story. You're reckless. You're a loose cannon, and you're dangerous. That's my shtick. Wait, go just give me a chance. Sorry, no time. Galaxy in jeopardy. Get back out there. And remember, you can do anything. As long as you're me. Next! Meanwhile, on planet Quartu... Dr. Nefarious! The mad scientist who made all of this possible! Mad suggests cognitive impairment. I'm more of a vengeful scientist. I trust you're here to meet the troops? <laughs> State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers! State your prime objective. Destroy Galactic Rangers! State your prime up. Hmm. Hello. Defect detected. Preparing for immediate destruction. In three, two. Oh, a defect. Go play, Victor. Uh oh. I hate this guy. He's so challenging sometimes, especially like during the second time we face him. But this one is just oh the man. This defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. Or if I stand still, maybe nothing bad will happen. But no, basically, I just wanted to say that shot you just saw the factory line of just the interior design of what they did I in the it. like interior levels. Run to the vent, he just might make it out of there alive. <laughs> Sorry, Quark. No, I just think this game overall, even with Clank like a small robot and like you know robot facilities, I still think they look great in this game. The way that they designed it all, it, it just looks fantastic. And uh, hopefully I don't die from uh, Victor just being a nut job trying to kill us. I know you will find the 
You never just Well, he might, you know. Never say never. If he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his back. Or what Clank does is just not give any cares about what's going on. Just look at that face. Look at that 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 perfect poker face. He's not even blinking. Okay, just wiped his eyelid for something. But yeah, <laughs> basically he still does not care about anything when you do like fight enemies. He's just that that blank, classic, wonderful Clank face. It's amazing. All right, boys. The young defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. Yes. The defect had to throw a spring bot. But where? And how? And how? By throwing it, I guess. Thanks. Maybe I can. Don't, don't judge me, Victor. Or don't underestimate me. See, look at that. Just, just did like a little parkour flip. Look at that. Okay. There you are. Oh my. Dang it, Victor. Quit your running, you useless piece of scrap. See, even though there's no HUD right now, it looks very cinematic. I think it does. Woo! No thanks. Get back here and let's settle this. Warbot to Warbot. I'm definitely not in that same class as you are, Victor, of a Warbot. I'm more like a technical robot with my deficiency, but still, I, I'd rather not have that happen where you and I go and try and tussle man-to-man -man or robot-to-robot, because I would definitely lose that fight unless I had a bunch of these grenades. Yeah, not that good. Woo! Nice. He's excited. Spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my pension for storytelling. The greatest thing that Quark can do problem, is narrate. You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got a right where I want it. Sure you do. That's why we're in this robot facility where you can't find me. And there's a bunch of little robots that can help me escape for some reason. It's still very helpful. Oh boy. My favorite part of these games is the puzzles. They're definitely not on the same level as uh, Uncharted, but definitely still fun. Especially when you get to play as Clank. It's a different, you know, gameplay aesthetic from where you are Ratchet just going around shooting everything to Clank where you are, you know in these interior levels with these robots trying to do puzzles to try and, you know, find a different way to get out, which is what I'm kind of seeing with the Peter Parker gameplay so far with Spider-Man PS4. It's like, it's going to be a break from where you're Spider-Man swinging around, shooting webs, fighting bad guys, where you're just walking around a, you know, little facility as Peter Parker, and you get to go and, you know, talk to people like Aunt May and Martin Lee and Miles Morales and, uh, also with Mary Jane gameplay, like, we're going to be able to play as Mary Jane, so, uh, you know, hopefully there is, in fact, a unique differentiation from the Peter Parker gameplay and the Mary Jane gameplay, because Peter Parker's a scientist and Mary Jane is a reporter for the Daily Bugle, so I'm really interested to see how the differences are going to be from them playing as, as their specific jobs and what is going to be, you know, the same thing for both of them and also why we would want to play as them and how it's going to be fun. Because some people don't like playing as Clank. I do like playing as Clank. I obviously enjoy playing as Ratchet more. Like, the same thing. Like, I would probably be having more fun playing as Spider-Man rather than Peter Parker. But I really think that Insomnia can make the Peter Parker gameplay fun. Unlike, you know, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. But I'm, I'm still very much having faith into what, what's going to happen. Nice. Nailed the dive. And run away. Right now. Go, Clank. Go. Uh, that... Where'd you come from? Yeah, if I try my hardest. I know Clank, right? He's just dumb muscle. Even though he's a robot with no flesh or bones or anything like that, he's all hardcore muscle, which is still very scary. I just, I don't know if you're running fast or slow, Victor, but you're definitely not doing a good job of trying to kill me. That's for sure. Ah! Whew. 
Okay, Victor, please. I don't know if you're trying to have me escape because that's definitely what it seems like right now. Whew. And why don't you just shoot forward at me? Like, why don't you just shoot directly at me? Why are you... Why are you sweeping from left to right? Why, that doesn't seem that effective. Whew. You got this, Clank. You don't need to deal with this nut job. There you go. Oh, my only weakness is H2O. Someone help! Computer, set coordinates for the Galactic Ranger home base. Destination set. We will never make it, but hey, what are you gonna do? Oh dear. That is not good for Clank. Hopefully he doesn't die like that computer said. That'd be bad. Shell damage. Sister board appears to be intact. I must get to Alero City. Dad. They are in danger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, who's in danger? An army is coming. I must warn them. Hang on. Slow down. You've been in a crash. What do you say we get you back to my garage? I'll run a diagnostic and have you fixed up in no time. Thank you. I appreciate the assistance. It's no problem. So, what do I call you? I suppose my proper designation is Warbot Defect B54296. Maybe I'll just call you Clank. My name's Ratchet. Uh, up and down. Yeah, there you go. You're a natural. Very cute. To Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive Warbot? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto-engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. Right. Not the proto-engine. I'll get us back to the garage. Nice. And here we get our first shot of Velden in the nighttime, which... Whoo! I don't even have a PS4 Pro. I just have a standard PS4, but wow. Wow. And you are telling me that this is on a standard PS4 in 2016, and... What we've seen from Spider-Man PS4, the Paris Games Week trailer, and the demo was all on a PS4 Pro. Wow, I woof, that is gonna be insane playing that game. I'm just again like what Insomniac have done here, clearly just making this the surroundings so vibrant, so lively, so interesting to look at, and just so interesting and so different from your standard like you know space game. Like if there is even another space game out there like destiny i guess or halo you know the, the environments are so different from what we've usually had and it's just so interesting to see that large gaps where child's play to ratchet all he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado the bravado being my looks of course right Woo! fortunately for our furry hero a conveniently placed crate provided ratchet with a combustor Nice! A combustor! Nice! Ratchet basked in the freedom of being able to switch weapons whenever he felt like it. Now I don't know if I like the combustor or not. It's even with you when you fully upgrade it, 
I still feel like it's like the weakest weapon in the game. Um, just because it's just like a standard pistol, pretty much. Um, but other than that, it works pretty fine. But bam it gets the job done, but your wrench, your wrench is always your best friend. Nice work. Why, thank you, Clank. And nice, see, now we got him on our backs. On our back, singular, not plural, my bad. You're going down, Lombacks! Uh oh, Bark. What are they doing here? I have information in my data banks that poses a threat to Chairman Drek. He must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back. Well, dang it, Clank. I think fast. Perhaps the hook shot would solve his current conundrum. It just did, Quark. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. Woo! These sweet flips. I didn't know Ratchet knew parkour. He's been taking lessons from Spider-Man himself. Or at least way. gymnastics. I think that's all of them. Hopefully. They're pretty hardcore on hard sometimes, but not that much. Web swinging like a pro! Oh, uh, sorry. Slingshotting. Correct. Model X60 to be exact. Also known as the dropship of death. Oh great. Great. Oh, I was shooting the wrong one. It's good to know that there's multiple dropships of death than Clank. Should inform me about that a bit sooner, don't you think? Especially if it has giant laser turrets shooting at us at our faces. Hopefully they don't have that next time we try and visit, or that time you visit, to our planet. Come on now, Clank. Woo! Here we go. Why, thanks, Clank. Really do appreciate your uh, sincerity and just your honesty. With our skills, of course. Now, legit MHX was, like, obviously is, like, the Ratchet and Clank master. And, like, this is his, like, favorite video game series, or one of his favorite video game series of all time. So he may know, like, all the tips and tricks for this game. Hands down. Which is great. I don't know if, he, if I did, but I hopefully it bit you really hardcore. Bam! Oh, what, that did nothing? Come on, you know that must have done something. The blinds are all over Grim's garage. Grim, are you okay? I'm fine, kid, but I ain't opening up until the coast is clear. Just hold tight, Grim. I got this. Ratchet! Murderer Supreme. With all the weapons, which apparently the Galactic Ranger tryouts let him keep... The, the fusion grenade, or I guess he bought it there while using his wrench with his, the bulk that he acquired, so I guess he just paid for it with his actual money. But dang. Whew. Hopefully that dropship doesn't do anything stupid, like send more reinforcements our way, because that would be really bad. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, or do that. That'd be really, really not good. Yeah, you know, just research, Grim, that's all. No need to get snip snoopy and just try and find out what Ratchet's been doing this whole time. That's very rude, Grim. Ask for permission first. Use trust, friendship, and mentorship, or whatever it is that you and Ratchet have going on. Teacher-student relationship. Not like Riverdale, because that's, that's a different type of relationship. Bam! Woo! Slow motion flip. Aw, oh, yeah. All right, Grim. Coast is clear. Can you open up? Ratchet, what in Sony's name just exploded? Sorry about that, Grim. Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. Interesting. 
What kind of factory is this? This? No, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. Once they were safe, Clank explained Drek's plan to attack the Hall of Heroes. With the Galactic Rangers out of the equation, Ratchet knew he had to help, even though neither he nor Clank had the upper body strength necessary for hero work. I can totally help. Oh, I could not ask a civilian to get involved in something so dangerous. Well, no, I'm not just a civilian. The Rangers are actually my, uh, friends. Why do you think I have so many pictures of them? But why are you not in any of them? Well, someone had to take the picture, right? I mean, come on. I even have a ship. It disassembles so it can infiltrate enemy strongholds. <laughs> so what do you say? Take that as a yes. That's strange. I'm picking up something from Navalis. It appears to be some sort of distress signal, but it is being jammed using a Blargian signal dampener. The computer would have told us if we were in any real danger. Fatal crash imminent. Would you like to record your last will and testament? Admittedly, that's not super promising. Well, poop. That sucks. Don't die, guys. We just started this game. Come on. Gotta live to see another day. Well, it's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Ooh! Especially with all this gorgeous rampage and destruction going on right now, which is extremely cool. However, sadly, guys, I am going to bring an end to it right here because we just did that whole first section where Ratchet and Clank meet each other, and that's like kind of like the first chapter of the game, I would say, because it was all on the same planet of Velden. Uh, but yeah, just let me know if you guys actually like this series. I'm having a real fun time playing it for you guys and kind of giving you my insight in regards to how, what, how I love this game and what I think Insomniac can take from this game and put in Inspiring PS4. And uh, yeah, I just have a real fun time playing this game and since this is its 15th anniversary, like Ratchet and Clank 1's 15th anniversary, I just feel like it'd be fun if I, you know, revisited a Ratchet and Clank game for nostalgia purposes and just for fun. Um, but yeah, just let me know if you guys like this. Thank you so much for watching. Um... Your guys' support means the world to me, and uh, yeah, thank you, everybody. Peace out. <laughs>